Okay, in today's video, I'll show you how to get all the BIOS files for the R36S handheld video game console. So basically, um, what it comes with doesn't come with all the BIOS files for this handheld video game system. Um, it didn't come with the Neo Geo CD. And there are some that some others that this uh, video game console didn't come with. But I'll show you how to get all of them. Uh, for some of them, you're not going to be able to use it even if you get the BIOS files like the Nintendo DS. And the reason for that is you need two screens to use the Nintendo DS. And this thing doesn't have two screens. So that's why you can't use it. But I'll show you how to get everything you need. You can even get the PlayStation 2, but you can't really run the PlayStation 2 on this handheld video game console because this thing obviously doesn't have enough uh, power to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the micro SD card in here. You just press your fingernails in here and then push it in and this thing comes out. Make sure it doesn't just fly out. So keep your finger here to, to hold it like that just get it out like that put this into your micro um, SD USB card reader if you have one you need one actually to do this for mine it goes in this way I'm just gonna put this into my computer and I'll show you how to get a new uh, or create a backup uh, micro SD card you could do that as well if you want because uh, micro SD cards do sometimes go bad, even the good ones. Because uh, these micro SD cards aren't designed for operating systems. So it's it would be a good idea to back up or have a backup micro SD card of, of this. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so now I'm back on my computer. I'm going to stick in my um, micro SD card with my USB card reader. Stuck that in. I'll show you how to flash a operating system on a blank uh, micro SD card. So here are a few things you will need before you start. You will need a program that could flash an operating system on a micro SD card or a USB card or whatever hard drive. Uh, Vanilla Etcher is a good uh, program to do that. You could download this. If you do, do not already have it, you could use other imaging programs as well. This is not the only one. Uh, you'll need a BIOS pack. You could download this. I'll leave all the URLs in the video descriptions below so you can find it all. And next thing you'll need is um, you'll need an operating system of Arc OS. So the one you'll need for the R36S is... This one right here, you'll need the RG351MP. You can download it from G Drive or Mega, doesn't really matter where you get it from. I have Google Drive, so I, I use this to download it. You will also need a file called a .dtv file. And this file, what it does is it enables your hardware to work correctly on your handheld video game console like the monitor and the inputs like the like the buttons and stuff if you don't have this file it's not going to work correctly so you need this so these four things you will need basically okay 
Okay, so I got all the files. I'll show you how to get the DTB file. So to get the DTB file, you just select on this rk3326-rg351mp-linux.db and just go over here and just download it. That's it. And I have that file here. This is the image of the operating system. This is the BIOS file. And let's get started. So first thing I want to do is I want to run Vanilla Etcher. I want to select the operating system. I copy that and paste it in there. And select that. That's my operating system. And I want to select a USB drive. Make sure you select the right one because if you select the wrong one, everything is going to be deleted. So just make sure you select the right one. And then just select that. And you just flash. This will take maybe anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes for you to copy the operating system or ArcOS operating system to your micro SD card. And it'll take another maybe 3 to 5 minutes to verify that everything was done correctly. And that's basically it. After that, you just eject the medium and then insert it back into your computer and you should get the following folders. You should get a boot folder. You will get a easy ROM folder. This is where the ROMs go in. So these two things should appear on your computer after you plug in your micro SD card USB reader in your computer. So these two folders you should get. So the DTB file goes into the boot folder as you can see right here I already got it in here and basically all your games go into the ROMs folder into the easy ROMs folder and I'll show you how to get the BIOS files in here I'm, I'm just gonna show you how to get all the BIOS files so you, you can run every emulator that you want so for BIOS this is Batacera BIOS um, for the Neo Geo you must put the Neo Geo BIOS folder BIOS file into the Neo Geo ROMs folder this one here you just put it into the Neo Geo ROMs folder I already did that and for all the other BIOS files you just go to BIOS like that You just get everything and then you just dump it dump it in there like that that's basically it so take several minutes for you to finish because uh, there's a lot of files in there okay so I got all the files in here For the Neo Geo CD, you need to create a folder called Neo Geo CD. And then you go to here called Neo, Neo CDZ and put that file in that folder. That's basically it. I got all the BIOS folders in. Should be able to run all the games. So those are the only uh, two specialized uh, BIOS files where you have to put it into a specific folder, like for Neo Geo CD and Neo Geo. Also, Q. This is for NEC PC88. You have to put this in a specific folder. This is NEC PC 98. You also have to put that in a specific folder, but the BIOS folder already uh, does that automatically for those. 
back here and here. And pretty much everything is in there. That's basically it. As for ROMs, you just put it into the ROM sort. Simple. I'll explain each one. Um, ZX81 is, I think, that's ZX Spectrum 81. This is a Sharp X6800. This is Sharp X1. Computer emulators are going to be a little bit hard to run on a video game console, which doesn't have a keyboard. So I don't recommend using that for everything else, like Virtual Boy, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Turbo Graphics, uh, 16 PC Engine, PC Engine CD, Sega CD, Sega 32X here, Sega Saturn. NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo, I think that's Nintendo DS, N64 is Nintendo 64, you would put all the arcade stuff into MAME, yeah. or MAME 2003, Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, GB is Game Boy, Dreamcast is Sega Dreamcast. Famicom is Nintendo Famicom. It's the Japanese version of Nintendo Entertainment System. These are arcade um, systems, I think. Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800. For the Atari 5200, you need a keyboard to use this. Amiga, another, another computer emulator, you need a keyboard. Maybe you could plug in a keyboard through the uh, USB-C OTG. You may be able to do that, but it's kind of awkward um, using a small screen and a keyboard. That's kind of awkward. So that's all you got to do. I got all the BIOS files in here. That's done. So basically, everything's done. I should be, as long as you put all the ROM files in there, you should be able to run all the stuff. I also made a video on testing this um, handheld video game system and I tested it for a number of emulators here's a video that I made about testing various emulators I tested everything from Atari 2600 all the way to Sony PlayStation Portable so I'll show you all the emulate emulators that I tested. Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Sega Mega Drive, TurboGrafx-16, or PC Engine, PC Engine CD, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, SNES, uh, SNK Neo Geo, SNK Neo Geo CD, Sega 32X, Sega CD, Nintendo 64, Sony PlayStation, Sega Dreamcast, Sony PSP, and MAME. So I tested all of these systems on here. They all worked. And uh, all you needed was a BIOS file to get it to work. The only ones I haven't tried was like stuff like the computer emulators like um, Commodore Amiga and stuff like that. I didn't have a keyboard. I'm not sure if you can use a keyboard in this thing. It does have an OTG port. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'll, I'll try that next time and report to you about that. So other than that, it does run everything. So I'll leave the video for the, this is Sega CD. Try Neo Geo. Let's try that. Neo Geo CD that I ran. It does run. Everything else. I'll leave this in the video descriptions below if you want to see that. So that's all I want to share with you today. If you have any thoughts or questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eject this.
I'm just going to insert this back, the micro SD card back into my uh, R36 handheld video game console. Should be able to run everything I want to run. So thanks for watching.